Hey everybody, real quick before we begin today's episode, I had a frustrating YouTube glitch on the old channel and unfortunately the last resort I had to do was make a new YouTube channel and move all the videos over. So just do me a favor and check below that you're subscribed and click the little bell to make sure you get all notifications of new episodes. I'm starting again at zero subscribers unfortunately, but that's just the way it had to be. All right, let's roll on with the next episode. I'm Captain Perry, and my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14-foot sailboat that's watertight and custom-built to cross oceans. She's built with the foam sandwich method and features twin keels, a scow bow, and a Jungstrom rig, which means the whole mast is freestanding and spins to furl the sail. Here's where I am currently with the project. The mast step was installed in the previous episode, the construction of a structural grid is proceeding nicely, and frames C5, C6, and the transom are up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the build. All right, check it out. We've gotten a little more organized around here. I got tired of digging these out of the, uh, they were slid up there in the toolbox, so now they're on the wall. And I got frame C2 put together. Uh, what I did is put thickened epoxy in four areas to join four pieces. That's gonna go right here, just aft of the mast base. This is the first frame that I've glued together out of pieces. So on this brown paper, I measured out what the frame should be, lofted it out, and then kind of cut these pieces over it. And once they were cut, I could make sure that they were all the right size. storage before I could finish that time lapse but all you missed was on the second side I finished the fiberglassing I put on peel ply and then I covered it in plastic and put a large piece of plywood over it and a couple more just to add some weight and press that down smooth okay it's nine hours later let's see how we did It's Saturday morning, January 22nd, and this is frame C4. It's made up of four pieces glued together. C4 is about the same size as C5, the main bulkhead. But it's going to go right here. So I've cut four 1x2s, just wide enough to fit between these longitudinals. So I got one for 
frame C2 and one for frame C4, but I also made two more um, for the transversal supports. Uh, this one here and one back where the um, kind of battery box is. This will go here. Now the purpose of these is twofold. One, to better support the floor. But number two is to house threaded stainless inserts so that I can use a bolt to fasten down the floor. That way I can store heavy things under the uh, floor panels like water, chain and anchor, food stores. But if we were to go through a rollover in uh, bad sea conditions, I don't have to worry about all that stuff crashing up to the overhead. It'll stay down low and help us right back up. Floor supports are in. Okay, here we've got frame C2 up at the bow and frame C4. And they're done with fiberglass mat on each side. But the next thing I need to do is to round these edges and fiberglass over them then they should be ready to get fiberglassed onto the boat. Wow, this is the really great thing about a scow bow, huh? This frame, C2, is only a few inches aft of the mast, uh, which is quite far forward in the boat, actually, because it's more of a cat boat design. But still, look how much room you have. I mean, I'm gonna be able to fit through here, and another person could fit through at the same time. So lots of good storage in the bow when you decide to go scow bow. All right, the floor will sit on here, so I gotta dig out the core and fill with thickened epoxy and smooth. From here to here are gonna be the walls of the compartment in the boat, the compartments. So I don't have to do anything to here because another piece is gonna be epoxied on here. But from this line up and around, I gotta make nice and smooth so I can bump my head into it or grab it without hurting myself and it'll be stronger. Okay, C4 is done. I've got these edges rounded from this line up. Below there, I don't need to worry about right now. Next is C2. C2 needs a rounded edge all the way around because this is more like a hatch hole, just like we had in C5. This is the bottom of frame C4, and I don't want this one rounded because the floor of the boat is gonna sit on here. So I'm, I'm digging out a channel. I'm digging out about an eighth an inch of core, and then I'm gonna fill it with thickened epoxy. Now the best method I've found for this is to take a fat chisel and separate the core from the sides as deep as you want. I go about an eighth an inch. And then on the bottom too. And then I take a thinner chisel, this one's quarter inch, and I just pop it out. You can also do this with just a screwdriver, the core comes out pretty easy, but um, this works pretty well too. Well, I always think next episode I'm gonna get all the frames up and glassed in and we'll be able to see the boat with all the frames but it always takes much longer than I think. I gotta wait for things to cure, I gotta do one side then the other side and little detail work like rounding the edges like here. 
So it always takes a bit longer than I think it's going to, but hey, little by little, we're going to get there, and I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. And speaking of that, if uh, you want to see more stuff like um, progress photos and design drawings, check out the OCSS Facebook group. There's a link in the description. I think you'll find it interesting. Okay, see you next time. Mr. Bordell, let's make all preparations for getting on the way. That guy sure likes to carry things. Hey, uh, what's your name, buddy? Home. Get back to your station or I'll have you shot for a mutineer. Well, shoot something.